Are you ki- They got my name wrong, again. The Marion Hotel is located in the heart of Dublin. We're right in the city centre. Once you arrive in the hotel, you don't have very far to go to explore the sights and sounds of Dublin. What are we about to enjoy here? Our take on the traditional afternoon tea, as well as being a, a hotel, the Marion also houses one of the most significant art collections in Ireland. We decided back in 2009 to take a different twist on the traditional afternoon tea and encompass the art collection that's housed in the hotel. Each one of these pieces of art which provide the inspiration for the pastries are located here at the Marion. We kept the colour of the garage door and we also have the little parking sign in front of the dessert. The houses were built in the 1760s by Charles Stanley Monk, Lord Monk, who occupied house number 22. The most historically significant of the townhouses is number 24, primarily remembered for being the birthplace of Arthur Wellesley, the first Duke of Wellington. It was someone's um, home originally. It was so. someone's home, and that would be our raison d'etre, really. Morning. Mm -hmm. That our guests are a home away from home. Welcome to Mary, Miss MacDonald. The gardens is probably one of the most surprising features of the hotel. It's three quarters of an acre, a little oasis of tranquility, really. So there is an awful lot for our guests to choose from and to experience when they stay with us. I am staying in the Lord Monk suite. Come and have a look at my room. Wow. It's a bit of a um, juxtaposition between the old tradition and like the modern finishes, which is something that seems to be happening all around the hotel. The Marion just strikes me as the perfect place to stay, whether you're a business traveler or just a tourist. I checked in and was immediately shown to my room, which was lucky enough to be the Lord Monk suite. During the afternoon, I had art tea with the hotel manager. And then I came back down here to the cellar bar and I'm now enjoying one of their crafted beers. Cilantro.